Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning colorist, hi there. Glad to see you back. Today's video is just a short, quick video to go over all the supplies that I have purchased in the month of November and December. And because it was December, there are also a few Christmas gifts. So I'd like to thank those who did send me Christmas gifts. But the first one, I was quite excited and I saw it on another channel and then I went right away and ordered it, was the Ruby Charms or her name is Susan Carlson. And I got this from Amazon Canada, uh, but it is available on Amazon US and I'm not sure where else, but it is the 2023 Creative Companion and basically it's a uh, journal or day timer kind of setup uh, for colorists or anyone who's going to be creative. It's got uh, the whole month and then a few pages in each month. So I'm going to be testing this out and trying it all year long. And I've already got uh, some pages filled out. I've added my own tabs with just tabs that I had around the house. So I'm trying not to spend a bunch of money getting into journaling when I'm not sure that that is a uh, something that I actually want to be doing but I did want to I am very much a organized type of person looking forward to using the 2023 creative companion there's a little bit of coloring also in this book so I may do that when I get to those pages I just have a bunch of things in a tub that I keep until I have uh, done a video and then I will put them away but I do start using my items right away so you may have already seen some of these in use this is a new diamond painting called seasons change and it is a beautiful uh, deer stag with a smaller deer fawn in front of it and uh, the horns have or the, the horns are like branches and they have all different uh, seasons on them and it really reminded me of my husband who was an avid hunter and we have quite a few uh, taxidermied items in our base doing this uh, basically for my husband and I bought myself a uh, diamond painting pen to go along with it so this is all kitted up and ready for me to start in January so I'm looking forward to that so I may show you some progress uh, updates on that I'm not sure but just pulling stuff out of randomly these I bought from Amazon Canada. They are Ohuhu markers. They are the brush and chisel. They're the thinner, smaller markers. And I have started using them. And as I use them, I will swatch them out. Or if I get bored, I'll do a bunch of swatching. But it's a thin marker with a number, no names, uh, just numbers. The nib is brush, but it's not flexible. They are quite juicy. Um, I am not thrilled though because they are yellowing my pages. I'm new to alcohol markers and I definitely do not like the fact that they are leaving yellow marks on the pages both in front and behind. So now I am taping paper in between them but uh, so there is two different sets and it's total 48 in each set so I have more than enough alcohol markers and I'm not sure that that's a medium that I'm really happy with. Anyways, I did also uh, use some uh, gift money from Amazon uh, from my husband. He had uh, some points saved up, so we used those to buy gift, Amazon gift cards. And so uh, both the alcohol markers and these were purchased with that. So this is the Neocolor 1s. I now have a 40 set of Neocolor 1 and now Neocolor 2. And these are the non water soluble so in uh, the coming months you will see me having a uh, crayon comparison similar to how I'm still working my way through the uh, colored pencil comparison so look forward to that I have I think six different uh, sets of crayons all made with different things so I think that that should be a fun series to go through I bought at Michael's. They had a uh, buy one, get one. So I bought two packages of stickles in a variety of blues and greens and yellow and one kind of peach. 
So when you can get them on sale, they end up being fairly reasonable. So that's another six sets of stickles for my uh, stickle collection. And also from Michael's, they had a sale on and I picked up a second set or a backup set. In fact, I didn't have all of these colors. I only had probably four of these colors. Um, so these are the Jelly Roll Metallic. And there's 10 in here. So quite excited for those. And I also picked up some additional small Artist Loft uh, detailing brushes. So I use these in the coloring books. And so they're small. Artist Loft isn't a super fancy brand or anything. Um, so that's why I don't mind using them in my coloring books. At Walmart, I picked up some uh, set of sparkly washi tape and I have already opened them and I have been using the washi tape and if you've seen my completed pages video for December I'm not sure if that's up first or after this video but you will see me using the washi tape from Amazon Canada I picked up another three set of the signal broad silver I am running out uh, but this is my save favorite silver gel pen so I just bought another three pack from the Dollar Tree because now I stop there by there often if I'm driving by I picked up four washi tape two are the same so I'll just get those out and these little guys are llamas adorable and then I picked up some uh, little deer and I'll show you so deer and flowers little fox little raccoon so just different animals all throughout and then I bought the last one that I got were little macaroons so just different so, and I got these mainly for use in the Lulu Mail because all of these little creatures uh, and pictures reminded me so much of the Lulu Mail books. So, and because I'm talking about the llama from Book Outlet, I purchased on sale the Million Llamas, a lovable llama to color by Lulu Mail. So it's all llama pictures. And it wasn't one of the ones that I wanted right away books but it was on sale and uh, I looked at it a bit more and super cute and I do like using uh, her books I like the size I don't feel that I have to uh, cut the spine off and and uh, because they are small enough so yeah look forward to seeing some pages done from the Lulu Mayo book from Amazon I picked up the morning scribbles uh, Chris Raniac. Uh, I thought this would be kind of would have the same pictures that his digital book would have and I could do some of the color alongs in Amanda Colors uh, Frogs and Friends but it actually these are all different but they are still super cute. The paper is very thin uh, it's just copy paper so uh, I won't be doing a lot of fancy work in here but I did one in November with some washi tape on the ground so yeah so that's Chris Raniac's morning scribbles from Amazon the other book I got from bookoutlet.ca is the extreme coloring tattoos book and I will include a if you've never ordered from book outlet before uh, you can get five dollars off so I will put that link in the description of this video they were just uh, awfully unique. It's very, very small. So I'm not sure that I will do be doing the fine, fine details of these, but I uh, should have fun doing some of the pages. And now for a couple of books that were gifts. So I have an entire uh, video for gifts that I received from uh, Beautiful Colors, which is Brianna and uh, this is the picture that she colored for me but um, I do have some PDFs so for Maria Budek I have that PDF and you can see the rest of the gifts that I received 
uh, from her and the Secret Santa in that direct video. So I'm not going to repeat those here. Um, but these are two gifts from Christmas. I got a watercolor with me in the forest by Dana Fox. So I have watercolor in the ocean um, that I purchased myself earlier this year. And my son purchased this one for me. And uh, I love her books. You uh, do the exercise right in the book. Um, it tells you which paints to use uh, color-wise and some techniques. So very happy to have the next one in that series of Watercolor With Me in the Force by Dana Fox. So that's for my son. And then from my girlfriend, I got Animal Mandela's and it's an adult coloring book. I don't normally go for Mandela's, but this one was very unique in that it has an animal in each Mandela. So I have done the first page. And here's a sneak peek. So an antelope. I'm not not positive. I'll have to relook that up. But it's very interesting. So I am going to do a flip through of this because I haven't seen this done anywhere else. So I will do a flip through of this book in a separate video. So thank you very much to my friend for that. And that, folks, is it, um, which is quite enough. I like to get supplies that I know I'm going to uh, put into use right away. So you have seen some of these being used already, which is the point. I am happy to share what I uh, purchase, but I'm equally happy to share how I'm using them. So I hope you had a great December and I look forward to all our coloring together in 2023. And until then, have a great creative week and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.